in this video let's see the solution uh, of finding uh, total variable cost total fixed cost gross margin and the profit so we're gonna use the, uh, this question from teach yourself sales that is the uh, Kaira Chanko publications the question leads a farmer uh, growing four hectares of beans kept the following records that would be the cost of uh, 10 holes is a finite wire each the cost of uh, bean seeds it's a 5,000 equation cost of hiring uh, a lolly to carry seeds that's a 2,000 equation cost of spraying with a marathon uh, the 1,500 and the cost of buying a sprayer that's a uh, 5,000 equation permanent labor uh, 80 people at 2,000 equation each per month and they worked for four months and the cash labor six thousand equation the yield of shield means is uh two thousand two hundred kgs per hectare and the price of shield beans that's uh sixty kg per kg and the sales of beans homes to compost my new making farmer at three thousand kwacha and we have been asked to find a uh, gross margin in IO, we should find the profit and we should also find the, the difference between gross margin and the profit. So, Musa and Hawi, the ambiguous solution uh, gross margin, think this one is the difference, is the difference between uh, total revenue. Total revenue. So this is revenue minus total variable cost. Total variable cost. Total revenue is like a total income. So we need to find the total income up of the beans. The total income can go the total variable cost. Then the difference between the two is the one which will give us a gross margin. So according to the question, um, income, income, uh, TV is, uh, Tigabanga Junch, remember Adao, Anabanga yield 2,020 kgs, uh, per hectare, they would make it a level four, they would take a level then you should multiply again with the, the price, take a time with the price. Yeah, she already beans with immediately ish. So what we're gonna do? Uh, to go remember up total income. Total income is equal to above and we can get bean cells. Total income of bean cells is equal to uh, yield multiplied by price. So, you may divange um, yield that's 2200 kgs. Then you're gonna multiply this one by 4 hectare. Then you're gonna multiply this one with the price per kg, which is uh, 60 kwach. So, here that's a 60 kwach. 60 kwach, yeah, it's 60 kwach per kg. And this one that's a 4 hectare. So we can put here four hectare. I think a more good you can the can the council above uh to we go uh two thousand two hundred kgs that's the UD and we're gonna multiply by four hectares and the the most in the sixty kwacha per uh kg and um Tenguababa, total cost here. I mean, my use are generally 2200 kgs per hectare. So, what we have in here, a uh, hectare, a hectare will cancel, kg and kg will cancel. So, what we're gonna do, uh, tenge calculator, tenge 2200 multiplied by 4 multiplied by uh, 60. Answer you get better 
528,000. So this is the revenue. Total revenue which is 528,000 kwacha. That's our total uh, revenue. The next we need to find the total variable. Kapeno kuti variable cost. So let's find the uh, total variable costs. E tuma kuti VC eh hey, total variable or TVC in chimodzi modzi. So my variable cost in this ndori nzosa nzosa kazikika angobanga spend pompo pompo. Nzosa kazikika. So according to the question here, the variable cost ikala ka joleba then ya marathon ya marathon but it's this one ndio sakazikika a hiring insu ndio sakazikika and the cost of bean seeds ndio sakazikika nsu and i think bus let's say 1 2 3 4 abapo ndi kuti zatheka then chimeti bange tingopharikiza 5000 kuza pharikiza ndi 2000 which is 7000 and 7000 uh, it is a parallel in the 1.5. It will give us a uh, 8.5. 8.5 plus 6,000 of casual labor. The would be total variable here. It will be 14.5. So total variable. Uh, you're gonna do this. It's a cost of bean seed. Cost of uh, bean seed which is uh, 5,000 average and the uh, cost of hiring a lorry you may be uh, 2,000 average and the inner to know what it's a cost of marathon cost of marathon You may go to put in the one thousand five hundred, and the your it's cost of casual labor. Cost of casual labor. Yeah, pumpo pumpo. Yes, I need permanent labor. I would use a good in the uh, six thousand wash. So it may be Let's find the sum of our na pali gizagali. Good in the uh, fourteen thousand five hundred wash. This is the uh, total variable cost. Then uh, from the formula, we are going to find the gross margin. Gross margin is equal to uh, total revenue. Total revenue minus total variable cost. Total VC, yeah. So total revenue, now is a good uh, it's a five hundred and twenty eight thousand. Come on, Moga Kumbugiro Gugu, a dawa, another good chance of Zinazagap is in Sundio Bere three thousand. They watch the Ababa to Menagri to Paris is three thousand. They watch the we're gonna have here. Uh, three three one five three one. So you're gonna have here total revenue as a five three one zero zero as our total revenue. Then we should subtract this with the uh, fourteen thousand watch five hundred. So what's the difference? So according to my calculator here, uh, five three one triple zero minus one five one four five double zero. Answer we divide five hundred and sixteen thousand five hundred dollars. So we have here five hundred and sixteen thousand five hundred dollars. That's a gross margin. So is the just a matter of finding the difference between total revenue and the total variable cost. And that's how we're going to solve it. The next we can answer the question even I will divide the profit. So to find the profit, uh Timabanga Zodi profit is the difference between gross margin and the uh total fixed cost. 
that's the formula which we use to find the profit gross margin the total fixed cost so gross margin taiveza kama we need to find the total fixed cost so total fixed cost uh this one tingani kuti zo kazi so my fixed cost and the cost ya sprayer which one where is it sprayer sprayer 5000 wash that's our uh, fixed cost then another fixed cost 10 holes where is that 10 holes is it this one which is 3000 wash and we reserve banga yeah 300 times 10 it's 3000 wash 3000 wash and uh, here now yeah permanent labor so uh, permanent labor it's 2000 wash per uh, a mini per person for eight people so it's just a matter of uh, multiplying 80 times 2000 wash which is 16000 wash and each person worked for four months so it's a kind 16 times uh, four the 16 times four that's a 64000 wash so you made vange um let me write it into details uh you're gonna have here uh total total fixed cost is equal to uh cost of 10 holes cost of 10 holes at 300 degrees each at 300 degrees each it will be uh, 10 times 300 uh, as we get about 3000 equation the next we need to find the um, cost as player cost of this player and the 3000 equation I mean 5000 equation and the uh, cost of permanent labor cost of permanent labor uh amagamba zodi it's 2000 waja per person and those guys are live to 80 and worked for four months you may good about good in the uh 64000 waja so we need to find it out who you do you it was a 69 69 in the three and say get about 72 they would be total fixed cost uh, total total fixed cost is equal to uh, 64 64,000 plus 5,000 plus 3,000 which is uh, 72,000 equation you mean don't worry the total fixed cost if then to find the profit um profit now goes on a good tibanga defense gross margin minus defense of gross margin and the uh total fixed cost so gross margin tinabanga gagiri the good it's um 516 500 equation minus 72,000 equation so the difference here uh, if I can take my calculator a dawa wa ni kuti ngochotsera 72,000 equation asa i would put 400 for 4,000 uh 500 equation so we have here 444,000 500 equation even uh, that's uh, the profit then i would use a good we should find uh, the difference between gross margin uh, and the profit uh. so to find uh, the difference between gross margin and profit which is question number c let me change color tingo limba have a gross margin minus profit so gross margin Tabanga uh, gagiri to good in the five hundred and sixteen 
500 dy minus profit which is 44,500 uh, dy you see and the difference above the given calculate you see what the difference is 72,000 dy let's try uh, 500 and 16,500 minus 44,500 answer and 72,000 dy which is equal to uh, total fixed cost you see hey, that's a uh, one of finding total fixed cost the medium of angela papa here my guys it so chonde ninko kumbu sa no say all subscribe to my youtube channel as well as like in my facebook page unique online classes malawi so uh pomweba ama tokufusa nikuti why is it normally better to calculate gross margin than profit Yang kwa kindu di uh, ima tandiza kubanga identify profitable enterprise. That's a, the importance of calculating gross margin. Te hapanga calculate gross margin. Ima di tandiza kudi tiziwe the profitable enterprise. That's the only uh, way. And it's an easiest way of identifying the profitable enterprise. Edu maga is it. I think ndingo lege la sobompa. That's what I prepared for you. Yet, Mano, if you have enjoyed this video, join the, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as liking my Facebook page, uh, Unique Online Classes Malawi. And Ngalmuni uh, Mafonso Senesane in any subject, number angle, that's 082-435-562. And you can join your friends on WhatsApp, you can be asking any question in any subject, you'll be assisted. Here, guys, it so. That's what I prepared for you. Uh, we should meet in the next video. Thanks for watching and uh, I wish you all the best.